A warm welcome to today's talk. It's still the first weekend in October. Now, I'm going to be sharing with you some of my uh, vaccine-based information today, and we'll be looking at certain well-known individuals that you may have heard of and look at their vaccination status. Now, first of all, in the interests of full disclosure, uh, here is mine. So this is my COVID vaccination record, as you see, 18th of February 2021. That was my first dose. That was uh, Pfizer. Uh, 7th of May 2021. That was my second dose. That was another Pfizer. Uh, then 27th of October. Uh, that just says I was sent an invitation. That I don't know why that's there. Probably someone gets paid for it being there. That's the most likely explanation for that. Uh, 20th of November 2021. That was my uh, third dose, my booster dose, immunizing, um, immunization course to maintain protection against SARS coronavirus 2. So that was my last dose there, 20th of November 2021. Um, what's this? Seasonal influenza vaccine given by pharmacist situation. Oh, yeah, I had a flu jab last winter, 4th of January 2022. Uh, that's there twice for some reason. And then I've been invited for a COVID and an influenza vaccine as well, although the invitation for the COVID vaccine is not there. So there you go. That was my last uh, vaccination for COVID. That was on um, 20th of November 2021. There you go. Uh, full disclosure, That's that, that was my vaccine status straight off my NHS uh, app so my last vaccine against covid was the 20th of november uh, 2021 now i have been uh, sent an invitation for a uh, fourth dose um, but uh, my last dose that i took was the 20th of november 2021 now some individuals that um, you might find uh, interesting to look at their uh, status and this is public domain so i'm not breaching any confidentiality and the first one's quite interesting. The first one is um, the uh, Pfizer chief executive officer. Now, he's recently tested positive uh, for COVID for a second time. This was the headlines. And this is taken from Reuters, so a very reliable uh, news agency. And I've just put a note there to remind myself that my last COVID vaccine was on the 20th of November 2021. So, uh, heck, getting on for a year ago, isn't it? Anyway, that was my last one. Uh, now, of course, um, talking about my vaccine status is nothing to do with yours. I'm not telling you what to do in any way, shape or form. I'm just, it's just me self-disclosing. Um, now, uh, Chief Executive Officer Dr. Albert Barola, uh, 60 years old, so at moderate risk of, of more severe disease. Uh, Saturday, this is last Saturday, This is a, so this is a week ago, tested positive for COVID-19. Now, this is a direct quote. I'm feeling well and symptom-free. So, excellent. I'm delighted he's having a symptom-free uh, episode of um, sars coronavirus 2 infection. Let's hope it continues and we wish him a full recovery, of course. Now, um, August, he contracted COVID and he had an oral course of Pax Lovid last August. Again, this is all public domain information. So Pax Lovid last August uh, tested positive last weekend. Um, and now this is having received four doses of the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine. Now, um, my first two doses were Pfizer. Um, at the time, my first dose really should have been Oxford-AstraZeneca, but I just got the end of a batch. So I had Pfizer, Pfizer. And my third one in uh, 20th of November 2021 was actually Moderna. There was no choice in the matter. You just got what you were told when... Um, when you pitched up uh, but as i said i haven't had one since then um so anyway um he's had, he's had four doses of pfizer BioNTech uh, vaccine uh, and uh, tested positive last weekend he hasn't yet taken the new bivalent booster um because he said he was following cdc guidelines to wait three months since my previous covid case which was back in mid-august but now he's had another covid case so i guess he'll wait for another three months uh, quite uh, correctly um, no argument with that at all now um, I was going to show you a picture of a uh, Dr Barola from the Reuters um, uh, web well, from the Reuters article but I think there might be copyright issues so I don't think I can show you um, 
but um, you can you can Google him. There's plenty of pictures of him. Uh, well photographed man. Um, now the Pfizer, uh, the the um, the Reuters, the Reuters article said this. This was interesting. Um, Chief Executive Officer attends a discussion. This this was under the photo of the World Economic Forum in uh, in Davos, Switzerland, 25th of May, uh, 2022. So that was uh, that was the picture. I'm not allowed to show you. So it was when he was attending the World Economic Forum. Now, um, I'm not being disingenuous here. I actually don't know much about the World Economic Forum, but I must say I'm a bit niffed, to put it mildly, uh, that I haven't been invited. Um, it's almost as if it's for esoteric people to go to. Not the hoi polloi like you and me. Not, 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 not the common riffraff like me. I don't get invited. Um, now, no one's saying there's an elite manipulation going on here. Of course not. Uh, but, but it just seems strange that, uh, that Reuters uh, saw fit to pick out that picture. If you know more about this Davos thing, do tell me. I mean, as I say, I'm not being disingenuous here. I genuinely don't understand the economics. But it does seem a bit strange that elitists huddle together. Um, and that makes me feel a bit uncomfortable, as you've surmised. Now, next person we're going to discuss their status of is um, a resident of Pennsylvania Avenue. Um, Mr. Biden is 79, therefore pretty high risk if he gets uh, potentially at high risk um, being in the older age group. Uh, now, he tested positive on the 21st of July for COVID-19. Um, and he's also had uh, four vaccines. So he's fully vaccinated and two, two booster doses. So fully vaccinated, two booster doses and tested positive on the uh, 21st of uh, July 2022. Now, this is a direct quote. Uh, Fauci tests positive for COVID-19. Dr. Anthony Fauci, of course. That's a direct quote from CNN, I'm quoting in this instance. He tested positive on the 15th of June. Dr. Fauci is 81, so pretty high risk uh, category. It would have to be said, potentially in the high risk category. Uh, he's director of something called the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, chief medical advisor to the president, of course. And he's fully vaccinated and had two booster doses and also had a course of Pax Lovid. So um, here we see um, uh, three people who've had four doses of vaccine each. Don't want that. Uh, who've had four doses of vaccine each and yet, and yet still have tested, uh, tested uh, positive. Uh, now, of course, this is a, to put it mildly, <laughs> a, a non-representative uh, sample, of course. And we have to be careful because the YouTube community guidelines here, which we have to abide by, um, efficacy of vaccines, content claiming that vaccines do not reduce transmission or contraction of disease is not allowed. So clearly I'm not claiming that vaccines do not reduce transmission and I'm not claiming that they don't prevent the contraction of disease. I'm just pointing out three individuals who are a completely uh, non-random uh, sample and therefore not representative of uh, the public as a whole, but quite interesting. And you now know my vaccine status as well. And um, I've been set, I've been sent a reminder to come and get a, a booster, uh, partly because I'm old, partly because I've, as I've already re revealed. I don't know. You probably have too much information about me, but... I've already told you I'm on bl blood pressure meds until I can try and uh, improve my lifestyle a bit, working on it. Um, um, but I haven't had another vaccine since uh, since that one in the 20th of November 2021. Not telling you what to do, of course, absolutely emphatically not. I don't know you. Uh, you have to make your own decisions, but that's when I had my last one. So there we go. Uh, that is uh, full disclosure about me and uh, those other individuals that are in the public domain which i found really quite interesting so if you do know what this davos thing is do 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 tell me because i do find it genuinely uh genuinely curious i might get around to looking it up myself but um let, let me know let me know your thoughts um it it, it surprises me really I, I get i get a lot of comments per video and i don't have time to read them all but i do i do spend about uh, 10 20 minutes a day on them and um the, the, the caliber uh, uh, of obviously get some drivel and head cases and vindictive people, obviously. Um, first of all, I don't remove comments un unless I think they're particularly dangerous. So like, that's the only time I'll remove them. Um, or, or sometimes if they're uh, offensive to, uh, to other... I don't mind people being offensive to me, but if they're offensive to other people, 
I'll sometimes uh, re remove them as well. But but uh, apart from that, the, the calibre of a lot of the comments I get is very, very high. So well worth reading through the comment section of these videos. You get some very highly informed comment. Um, really, really quite, um, quite insightful uh, very often. Um, so well worth having a look. Anyway, that's us for now. Um, I've had three vaccines. I've been invited for another one. But my last one was on the 20th of November 2021. And I'll keep you updated and thank you for watching.